Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today I want to talk a little bit about expertise, what it is, and more importantly, how do people become experts? So first let's talk about what an expert is. And just, it's in very general terms, an expert is good at a thing, right? So you give an expert a task, if that task falls within the domain that that expert is good at, they will be able to perform that task way better than the average person will, right? So that's what we mean. But how do you get good at something, right? How does an expert become an expert? Uh, this may seem like a very obvious thing to say, but there is actually a process, right? There is a process of becoming an expert, right? Everyone starts as a, as a beginner, and then they must become an intermediate, and then they become an expert, right? Now, there may be exceptions to this, but in general, everyone has to become an intermediate before they become an expert. So the question then becomes, right, how do I get to the intermediate stage, right? What if I'm starting out at something? What if I'm starting out in a martial art or with a musical instrument or engineering or computer science? Whatever I'm doing, how do I get to this intermediate stage? Right? Well, if we look at uh, the composition for any uh, particular uh, field right, or thing that can be done, right, the composition of the number of people, right, if the number of people is on this y-axis and the uh, expertise is the x-axis, right, then most of the people will be average. Right? There will be a few people who are starting out and they're learning. And then there will be a few people who have just gone beyond average, right? And they are just extreme experts at things, right? But the vast majority of people will be average. So our goal, right, as a beginner is to try to get into this average pile. So what's the best way to get into the average pile? The best way is to just do the popular thing. Figure out what everyone else is doing and just do that. Right? So you can imagine if you're trying to learn an instrument like the violin, right? you have no clue what to do or where to start. The best way to learn is to just see what everyone else did right? to learn the violin. Right? Learn how to hold the violin, how to, how to string the violin, how to, uh, how to play certain notes. Right? How do you play a scale on the violin? Right? Whatever the is popular, whatever the average person does, do that, right? And that will help you go from this beginner to this average uh, category, right? And that's how you get to be average. But if you just follow what everyone else does, the best you'll be able to do is be average, right? Because you'll just be doing what everyone else does. So how do you get to be an expert? Right? How do you go from this middle portion to this expert portion? Well, for that, we actually have to change our strategy. So notice, our strategy to go from beginner to average was just do what everyone else did. And that's pretty much the optimal strategy to become average at something. But it turns out that to become a true expert at something, you can't continue that same strategy because experts, by their very nature, do things differently than average people, right? If you ask an average person, oh, how do you play the song, they'll tell you, right? You ask an expert person, and they will be doing different things than the average person does. So in order to go from beginner to expert, right, you can't just go from beginner and just jump to expert. You have to get to this average point, right? because that allows you to know where you are in space, right? Now to go beyond that, to go and become an expert, you have to explore, right? You have to start, once you know what everyone else is doing, you also have experience on what it took to learn there, and you have a feeling for what the, the possibility space is. You have a feeling for what the map of the territory is. 
And once you have a feeling for what the map of the territory is, you can start saying, oh, you know what? Actually exploring this area could be fruitful, right? When you're a beginner, you can't do that because you don't even know what you don't know. But once you're an intermediate, right, you start, you start having a feeling for the things that you do know and the things that you don't know. And you can start exploring from this safe base that you have of your average knowledge and start exploring new things. And this is what experts do. They're extremely passionate about their subject and they just start trying out different things, right? And they find out what works and what doesn't work. And what the experts do is they find these just nuggets of gold of, of things that work really, really well compared to the average person. So experts explore. And that means that experts do things differently from the majority, right? So just like with the, the idea of the expert violinist, right? The techniques that they have will probably be similar to what the majority does, but there are certain little things that they figured out that are different that end up, that allow them to be much better players of violins. Same thing with experts at pretty much any other thing, right? Computer science, uh, athletics, right? The, ath the athletes, the experts in their areas have found little uh, tricks and tips uh, of doing things differently than other people do them and finding little pieces of knowledge that other people do not have that give them an, a, a, an edge. And depending upon the subject involved, that edge can be dramatic. And so what this means is that experts look like contrarians, right? They do things differently than the majority does, by definition, because they found different things that work better. Now, what some people will do at this point is they say, ah, experts are contrarians. So I'll just be a contrarian and then I'll be an expert at things. And that's exactly what not to do, right? You can't skip the intermediate uh, point, right? You can't skip that intermediate point because the vast majority of positions or opinions about a subject are just wrong. They're absolutely wrong. So you have to start from a point of intermediate skill and then explore around those edges and find little uh, paths that lead to better outcomes than an average outcome, right? And only through finding things that actually work will you be a contrarian that is also a correct contrarian. So some people put the cart before the horse and they say, oh, I'll just be a contrarian. I'll just do things differently than ever, everyone else does. Well, if you just do things differently, you'll probably do things wrong. You'll do things worse than the average. In order to be better, you have to explore and truly find things that are worthy of being contrarian about. And so what happens most of the time is that people figure out one strategy that works. The strategy that works is to just do what everyone else does and that gets them to be stopped at an average point, right? In order to go beyond that point, you have to be willing to be a contrarian, right? You have to be willing to explore and do things that other people are not doing. And like I already said, that being a contrarian does not make one an expert, right? You have to explore the space. And this also means that experience or expertise only comes through experience, right? Because uh, you can't, uh, in order to be an expert, you have knowledge and skill that is not widely known, right? Because if it was widely known, everyone else would be doing it, right? So you can't become an expert by reading. You can't become an expert by just listening to things. You, ha you only become a true expert in a field by actually exploring out into the unknown regions of that field. Right, because as soon as uh, right experts bring knowledge into uh, the field, right. So Isaac Newton uh, created integral and differential calculus, right. And so eventually, uh, everyone in mathematics knows integral and differential calculus, right. So now we have a new middle. We have a new intermediate skill, right. In order to be uh, an expert, right, 
you find out something new. You explore the space of mathematics, right? So that's why expertise can only be through experience, right? You can't be taught to be an expert. And that is essentially the process, right? So that is the big idea. The big idea is that in order to become an expert, you have to go through this intermediate stage. And in order to be, go from a beginner to intermediate, you do what everyone else does. You follow the herd. And then once you've reached the intermediate stage to become an expert, you have to be willing to uh, explore and fail and figure out what, what works better than average, right? And that's all I have to say about expertise. Thanks for watching.